The United National Congress, the UNC, is being accused of playing politics with the country's energy future, and Energy Minister Stuart Young urged the population to be cautious in their approach. His statement comes following the opposition leader's response to the budget on Friday. Sunil Lala reports. Sure. Should you take God out of your thoughts and put them to lead this country, it will evaporate in front of your eyes. Energy Minister Stuart Young says the continuous actions by the opposition could lead this country down a dangerous path and continues to play political football with government's plan to boost TNT's natural gas supply. He said although TNT has been making progress with Venezuela on the Loran Manatee and Dragon gas fields, members of the Venezuelan government have taken notice. Because the Venezuelans do not need to continue with it. If they don't like those who attack them weakly, and every time I went to negotiate, it was a point of discussion. Why is the opposition attacking us? Why are they attacking President Maduro and myself when I sat with Vice, Min Vice President Delcy Rodriguez? He also chastised the opposition for its continuing attacks on the independent energy chamber of Trinidad and Tobago, saying it is an attack against the entire energy industry in the country. The population needs to ask itself, why would they attack that body? And then go on to say it is because of who comprises the body. So she has, the member for Separia has declared war not only on the energy chamber today, has declared war on BP, has declared war on Shell, has declared war on EOG, Perenco, Woodside. Minister Young also took note of comments from economist Dr. Valmiki Arjun, who he said is certainly no friend to the government, but praised him for realizing the efforts to revive the energy industry. That the revenues earned for the first nine months of this year are in fact higher than the energy revenues for the same period in fiscal 2018 by about 2.4 billion and higher than the energy, energy revenues earned in fiscal 2019 for the same period by 1.2 billion despite production being higher in those years, i.e. the pre-pandemic years, by well over a billion standard cubic feet of gas, said Arjun. Meanwhile, the minister refuted claims from the opposition leader regarding Train 1. $400 million on Train 1. We watched in this parliament it go from the right amount that was paid of 23 million U.S. 23 million U.S. is the correct figure that NGC paid to keep train one alive during a very important period of negotiations as part of a strategy that worked for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. That has mushroomed today to $400 million. And Minister Young also chastised Mrs. Passard Bissessa for continuing to mislead the population regarding the Auditor General. That Office of Auditor General basically being hijacked by those on the other side and utilized to create and to fabricate yet another untruth. There is absolutely no money missing. And Sonolala, TTT News. Responsible is the word used to describe the 2025 national budget, according to Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister and Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, Stuart Young. He made the comments in response to the opposition leader, Kamala Passard Bissessa's heavy scrutinization of the budget as debate began on Friday on the Appropriation Financial Year 2025 bill in 2024. More in this report. The Office of the Prime Minister and Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, Stuart Young, said formulating a budget is a balancing exercise. On one hand, you have to legally and legitimately raise revenue. And on the other hand, you must balance it also with legal and legitimate expenditure. And that is one of the most important tasks that a government has, fiscal maturity and responsibility, which we can see, having listened for three and a half plus hours, will not come from those who are offering themselves for office. As she opened the debate for the opposition, Mrs. Kamala Passard Bissessa shared the UNC's plans for the criminal and civil justice system reform 2025 to 2030. We will increase the number of functional courtrooms. Right now, there is a deficit of courtrooms. Each judge of the High Court must have a designated courtroom to ensure he or she can sit every day. We will provide more courtrooms in highly populated areas outside the capital as, for example, Chagoras, 
Rio Claro, Sunny Grande, Diego Martin. She then went on to the UNC's anti-crime plans and policies. The UNC will create the offense of home invasions. The UNC will allow for the right to bear arms or modify the current legislation to make acquiring firearms by law-abiding citizens easier. We will change legislation to make the gating of communities easier. Among the suggestions made by the opposition leader was the construction of a forensic science complex and training facility at the UEDB campus. Mrs. Passad Bissessa added that there is a need for more cancer screening in the public health sector. Why isn't government able to provide sufficient medical equipment, as I say, breast cancer screening, mammography, prostate screening, at throughout the country and in different centers? What was screening for bowel cancer, which is the second highest cancer in men after prostate? And in women, women is almost as common as in men. Minister Young said the opposition leader's response to the national budget shows a complete disconnect with what's happening in the country. The 2024-2025 budget was presented on September 30th by Minister of Finance, Colm Imbut. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News. Minister of Energy and Energy Industries Stuart Young is alleging that Patriotic Energies, owned by the Oilfield Workers Trade Union, produced a fraudulent document in its bid to run the Point of Pier refinery. This, he said, is why Patriotic was unsuccessful in its bid. Here's Sunil Lala with more. Unfortunately, they could not move forward because the document that was produced as proof of financials is not real. Fake, fraud, fraudulent. Energy Minister Stuart Young is alleging that Patriotic Energies did not have the financial wherewithal to operate the Point of Pair refinery. He said despite the OWTU saying that there was something untoward that led them not to winning the bid, this was not the case. Minister Young said the evaluating committee even gave Patriotic extra time to see whether they could find the resources to do so. As I was told by the evaluation committee, the first time, no, they could not produce the financial wear it all on this occasion as part of the process. And the evaluation committee did something, credit to them, that they didn't do for others. They told Patriotic, take some time and go and see if you could get the financials. He added that Patriotic suddenly alleged that they received the money to be in contention to run the refinery. As part of that second opportunity is a document that I have in my hand here today that appears to be a swift message of a cash wire transfer of 1.5 billion US dollars on behalf of Patriotic Limited, Patriotic en Energies and Technology Company Limited, receiving one and a half billion US dollars at a local bank in Trinidad. But Minister Young said despite this proof of financials, it could not move Patriotic forward. A fake document was produced as part of that EOI process. Forged document, because when the due diligence was done, of course, no 1.5 billion US dollars was received by Patriotic at any local bank. So, so unfortunately, and yes, it is stamped by some unknown person, certified true. But of course, it's easy to verify this. Because it is, it is either that it exists or it doesn't exist. And I can stand here without fear of contradiction, here and outside, as I might do later on, and say it is not a real document. Sonolala, TTT News.